Knock, knock. Who's there? Two. To who? To whom? <laughs>
When we hear words or read them, we don't have any mechanism in place to stop the thoughts that they encode from happening. They just happen. Which is a problem because words absolutely have the capacity to hurt people. If you've ever listened to a graphic description of something that's really gross and felt a little ah, you've felt what words can do, and short of sticking your fingers in your ears and going la 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 la, you've been powerless to stop it. That's because some of the ideas referenced in your mental database are feelings of discomfort and pain and anguish and even nausea. And if you can guess that a sequence of words is going to cause those ideas in someone else, saying them isn't that far removed from physically assaulting that person. One causes pain by damaging their body, the other causes pain by directly referencing the sensation in their brain. I'm not saying that you can do the Bene Gesserit word paralysis thing, but you really can hurt somebody with words. Because words are little programs that people's brains execute without their consent, and wielding that sort of power comes with a lot of responsibility. Have you ever experienced a failure of language? How do you feel about including lol in the dictionary? Leave comments, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to blah blah subscribe blah share, and I'll see you next week.